Hey guys, <clears throat> just checking in. I, <clears throat> excuse me, just finished my workout. I'm sweaty, my hair's crazy. Um, I wanted to make a video because, uh, like a couple weeks ago, I said I was going to do more post workout. What are you eating? I was going to do more post workout uh, videos. <clears throat> excuse me, like I was doing last year. And I haven't done one in a while, so I'm going to start uh, doing more of them, especially since I'm doing uh, no, no Shit November, <clears throat> and I need to be accountable to myself, and I know that it helps you guys too, and um, the more you guys comment on my videos and, you know, let me know that they're helping you and inspiring you, the more motivated it makes me, um, so that's really awesome, so... <clears throat> Man, I'm like, I'm dead. I did a 45-minute workout, a turbo fire. Um, it was the first program I ever did, and I was kind of like, uh, I've been feeling really like reflective on when I first started working out at home two years ago, because it was around this time, <clears throat> and uh, so I figured I'd pop in a workout that um, <clears throat> inspired me to like work out at home and inspired me to coach other people and um and so anyway that's why I did that workout today and I forgot how hard it was and I was in like a weird headspace and you know it happens to everybody and even me as a coach like I still get in a weird headspace sometimes um and I learned a lot when I went to Unleash the Power Within last week about changing your state and when you like your emotions, most of the time are directly reflected by your motion, by your body and what you're doing with your body. So I figured I'd do like the hardest workout um, <laughs> that I could do, like one of the hardest workouts I could do. Um, and, you know, it killed me. And I kind of like, I had to take a lot of breaks, which normally would really bum me out. Um, I'm like an overachiever. So... Taking a lot of breaks really kind of, um, I learned to just like listen to my body. I've changed a lot in my diet lately, um, and it's not like forever. I really miss eggs, and I've just been having like vegetables and fish. Um, and today, I just like couldn't push through. Yesterday, I killed my workout. Um, I like crushed it. I crushed that workout yesterday, but today, I was like struggling to get through, and that happens sometimes. It's not always perfect, but hey. My dog's getting into stuff. Um, but yeah, so it's no BS, no shit November, and I need to be accountable to you guys, and I need to be accountable to myself, so I'm making these videos, and um, you know, I didn't want to work out today, but because of what I learned, like I said at Tony Robbins, I knew I had to do it anyway, so I did it, and I'm glad I did. I'm glad I didn't quit, because halfway through, I had like 20 minutes 24 minutes left, and I'm sitting there like, okay, I did I did 30 minutes of this workout, or wait, 20, I don't, I can't count right now, I did 20 minutes of this workout, I pretty much did halfway, and I'm like, oh, that's good enough, I need to eat some more food, <laughs> um, it's all good, but then I'm like, oh, I'm going to feel like shit, and I'm going to, I'm going to feel like shit if I didn't, you know, finish my workout, I would feel unaccomplished. So I'm glad, I, I'm glad I went through. I had to take breaks. I had to modify, but I don't give a shit because I did 45 minutes of one of the hardest workouts there is. And I'm glad I did. And I hope that this rambling video inspires you to get up and do something. And um, just know that your emotions is something that you control. And, you know, how you move your body affects that. Like if you're, you know, sitting around slouched like this, with your shoulders over and you're like upset or sad about something, um, you know, that affects how you're feeling. If you're not breathing, because that's something I struggle with, I don't breathe enough, I kind of have like a shallow breathing, so I notice that I feel stressed um, if I'm not breathing, which is, it makes total sense because your body's like, um, I'm not getting enough oxygen, please help me, so you like stress out, um, you know, so think about that, if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling upset, um, change your body, like jump up and down, put on a song that makes you happy, um, and dance around, do like a, a workout that challenges you, um, 
and just keep moving because you control your emotions and you control your life. So it's totally up to you of how, you know, how your day goes. So anyway, I hope that you all have an awesome Monday and check in more for daily videos because I'm going to keep posting these. Um, I'm really, really excited for this month. It's one of my favorite months and I'm excited to kill the rest of this year. And um, I don't know, I've, uh, dude, get out of my butt. <laughs> um, I don't know if you saw my transformation photo that I posted yesterday on my like page, but, um, you know, a lot can change in 60 days. And I know I've been there, I've experienced it. I know the difference you can make even in your mindset in 60 days. And <laughs> he's cracking me up. Um, and, you know, it's now or never. And I can tell you from experience that, you know, setting goals at the end of the year and um, these last 60 days and having those goals and crushing them and going into the new year on fire makes all the difference in the world. And I really want to see you guys succeed. So if you have some goals that you are ready to crush, post below. I'd love to see them. And if you're somebody who wants to, you know, change your fitness in 60 days with me, go ahead and shoot me a message and I'll be happy to help you out. But I hope that you all have a great Monday <laughs> and I hope this video motivates you and inspires you in some way. So, all right. Bye, guys.